Megan is off to orientation for school. Kevin is off to work. Don't tell him. I'm supposed to be in bed because I hurt my feet some more. But I had to run the vacuum. My floors were just really dirty. Had to empty the dishwasher because they were all clean. Needed to put them away. And I was going to do some laundry, but I think I'm going to be a little bit good and go back to bed now. Kind of excited. I got my niece, Crystal, and my cousin, who I never met in person, Brett, coming from New York to visit us here for two weeks. They come in tomorrow night. So I'm going to be doing some running around with that. I'll probably be in my wheelchair for parts of that. But tonight's video is a little teaser to hopefully our next paranormal investigation, which proves to be pretty exciting. So hope you like it. See y'all a little later. So this is Tudor House, formerly known as Brackenfern Manor. I think uh, this is the main building, but I do believe that this is also part of it, for sure, since it has a bee on the fireplace. I do believe that's some of the rooms for Brock and Fern. I know I recognize the, uh, the cellar door. Actually, that's the, that's the manor house. That's it right there. Oh, so it's on. So I'm not sure what part is what. So we decided to take a little trip down to the Bracken Fern Manor and we ran into some great people that are here working today and we got to speaking with them a little bit. The Bracken Fern is not open right now for guests, but they have some wonderful hauntings that have taken place here and Jeff and Gabe, Gabe Hi. <laughs> have allowed us to come in and take a quick little tour as a precursor to an investigation that we are going to come back and do once they are ready for us a night tour. So what has, what is one of the stories that has happened here? Well, there was a girl named Violet and uh, I think it was in the 30s. And they, you know, this was a brothel, basically. And um, she was in love with this boy named Joey. And somehow, I don't know how it happened, but um, one of Bugsy's guys, rumor, shot him and killed him. And so she was devastated and she went up to her room and she killed herself. And so the story goes that she haunts this. And people have talked to her. I know somebody who has. And uh, she's, uh, she's a little lost. She misses her girls. She wonders where they went. And um, she doesn't like men too much. And I guess we know why. And she doesn't, she doesn't really, she want, she's, doesn't like people making a big deal about her and proving that she existed. And so, you know, we try to kind of say, well, there are other girls here too, and they were important, and they have stories. Um, but, you know, she, she was shy. So That's did Bugsy thing. Siegel build this, or was yes. this here? Yes, so, yeah. so this has got a lot of history to yes, it. Yes, it does. It was a market, and, um, and then upstairs were the girls, and then they had um, gambling over there. I think in the basement. In the and, other building. Yeah, and then they had there was a tunnel that you know you could go all the way across, but you can't anymore. It's blocked off. Um, so I think that's what the men did, you know, just kind of oh, I'm go and visit the girls. You know. um, so. And what happened to you and Dre Jeff during the full moon? The, the, the super moon. The super the moon. moon. Yeah. Well, we were uh, taking pictures um, for our website, and we. Uh, unlocked the door and came in and we were going to turn on all the lights and there was just a boom, 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 boom. And we looked at each other and we were like, okay, you know, and I said, you heard that, right? <laughs> and um, we went out, of course, and unlocked all the doors and everything. There was 
nothing. And animals can't get in. So, I mean, we were, I mean, it's all locked up. So we just, you know, we accept it. And, you know, it doesn't bother us. So, and there is a story about a little boy that, um, uh, I, I'm not sure. I think that it might have been one of the girl's sons. And he was uh, about four. And he was hit by a pit. Horses trampled him. <laughs> and um, they say that when it snows every year that you can see little feet walking. I mean, little footprints across the road. So, Well, we may have to come up here oh. a couple of times. Yeah. Once in the winter and mm -hmm. once when they are ready and for us okay. to come up and do a night investigation. All right. All right. This is Camellia. And... Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Now, are the runes named after the girls? Yes, yes. Well, they took the girl. I mean, they took the names, and then when, you know, one left, another one would come and take that name. So it was basically... Um, A professional name. Yes, and when they had their gentleman visit, that's what they went by. Still work in progress, but it's, you know, it's clean and nice. Very beautiful. We're uh, putting some uh, glass. Uh, oh, good. Yeah, with um, like they'll be lily, lily flowers. Oh, well, the tiger cool. lilies. Okay, and um, so it'll be very pretty. So it's just not ready yet. So we're in the process of putting those up. It takes a lot yeah. of work to refurbish. It does. Oh it yeah. Does. Yeah, absolutely. Light on the he, yeah. Not that, not that gives it. Right, right here. Okay, a little more. So. Well, hello, Violet. Yeah. So that's her stuff there. Your bathrooms yeah. are deca de 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 decorated beautifully. Oh, thank you. They're also different, you know. It's like some of the sinks okay. are out. You will yeah. probably be able to tell us the name of that woman's picture in there. No. No, he's usually very good at telling. Well, that's Violet. That's Violet. <laughs> right. Look at her eyes. She'll she'll stare at you. She won't let go. Yeah. So this is the girl that died. Yeah. Okay. And this is the room. Mm -hmm. This is the room. So. Very beautiful. How many rooms total do you have here? Um, ten. So thank you for letting us come in. This was great, and we're looking forward to coming back. Well, we look forward to having you guys That's back. That's great. We're going to probably wander around and take a look yeah. at uh, around the building. Absolutely. Yes, go ahead. Don't thank you so out. very much, okay. Gay. We look forward to it. Okay, wonderful, you guys. So here we are at Brackenfern Manor. We had absolutely no idea what was happening with Brackenfern. Uh, we thought that it was closed and for sale. It's, it's been purchased and it's been redone. We took a chance. We went inside, said hi. They gave us a nice tour, said come back when we're open. Uh, this place was built by uh, Bugsy Siegel, has a lot of history to it. And uh, we're going to do a whole show on it uh, when they uh, ask us to come back. So we're really stoked. They're going to actually have us come back before they open to the public. Cool. So That'll be awesome. We'll be here by ourselves. And we'll have to wire the whole place up. That'll be awesome. Yeah. I think when we come back here and we're going to do an investigation, there's 10 rooms here and they're gonna do it without any other guests here, just us. I think it's gonna be time for some more equipment. The whole DVR system. So we can wire this place up. We need money. For some reason, when I see this door, I think of Donnie Darko. Now, I don't know if what uh, building they used for, uh, for that scene. Cellar door, cellar door, cellar door. Remember that? Yeah. Where uh, Drew Barrymore said it was the most beautiful word in the English dictionary or something like that. But uh, I have a funny feeling it might have been here. It might have been thinned here. That's something we should actually ask when we come back or look into. We'll have to look into it. Yeah. Because this really looks like that scene. It does. So 
No, this is the actual lake, Snake Arrowhead. And this is Lake Arrowhead Village, which is done as a Norman village. On Tudor, which is kind of like what I'd like to do at my house. So, here's the lake. Eat that bread! <laughs> Don't be rude. Uh, are you trying to hit him in the head with it? Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. Nom, nom, nom. What? Oh. Oh, the sparrow's bird. gonna come in and get it. Boo, he's gone. Have some bread. Have some bread. Or don't have bread. That's cool too. I mean, I Look at the tasty, tasty ducks. No! You're mean. <laughs> Get in my belly! No, you're mean. Yep. What do you think about buying a house up here and moving up here? Yeah. Well, she's already been hitting me for this all day. I think we should. We would sell our house down in Corona and move up here. What do you I don't know, but wouldn't it be awesome? We we have lake rights, we could buy a boat and actually use it and make it. We would have snow. I know, I love snow. I love ducks. Oh yeah. We would have wanted that on Close your eyes. You can't take them home. They have some pretty strange dogs up here at Lake Arrowhead. You can pet them, but you can't take them home. Doesn't eat much. <clears throat> he used to walk. <laughs> Actually I think he'd be kinda of hard to walk. Isn't he a pretty doggy? Yes, nice shade of green. He's a nice dog. He's right behind me, isn't he? He's right behind me. I'm just talking about him all this time and he's just standing right there. I bought you a change purse. Ribbit. Let's keep your changes. Unless you want a fish and get you a fish instead of a frog. <laughs> Except he doesn't have any legs. This one has legs. Cool. Thank you. I wouldn't get a change purse with legs because it might wander off. You're just so punny. Val's find a friend. You can't bring that home with you either. But he likes what I'm doing. Good. Oh, now you're going to talk. <laughs> trying to get them talking, but they won't talk for me. Well, Video I came over and they started talking. Hey, Gase, I'm talking to you. That Val has found the hippie stuff. Hey everybody! Guess what time it is? It's the Boomer Show! Yay! It's time for shout outs! <laughs> Beck88, shout out to you! Beck88, right? Ow, ow. Ground Dome said he would go crazy if we didn't come back. Well, you know what, Ground Dome? The ghosts didn't want to keep me. They said I was too loud. I don't think I'm too loud. What do you think, babe? 
No, dear. Yeah, see, he agrees with me. I'm not too loud. Just make sure everybody takes their headphones off when I, you know, do my shout outs. SG Sprint Car 1 and Justina C. Thank you guys for following along with us every single day. Sorry if some of our vlogs get a little boring, but hey, can't have exciting lives every single day. Lookie88 was having a bad day today. Watched our vlog, cheered him up. So thank you for watching, and I'm glad we could cheer you up. And hello there, 1010. Says, <laughs> wants us to film going over some of the evidence because I am putting all these messages and everything out there about how excited I am because of all the evidence I'm finding. And they're, I'm so exciting and you're not so much. Well, so explain why you're not so much excited. Well, I guess most of it, it's on Instagram, right? And I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do, I mean, I do as much as I can on Instagram. Well, it's I not just work. on Instagram. I'm also putting comments on YouTube oh, okay. saying, oh my God, where do you guys see well, I, this? I haven't seen any. I haven't seen, I've only seen a bits and pieces of the evidence that uh, Val has shown me and heard and so it's been it's been pretty cool but I haven't seen it all yet and I re always reserve my uh, comments till the end and I'm the uh, skeptic in the group and uh, so sometimes I can be the party pooper at the, at the party as far as this is concerned but so far it's pretty good stuff plus being the skeptic I, I can understand why he's the skeptic I've seen an actual apparition. I've seen many, but I've seen an apparition. He has never actually seen one. So, yeah, it, it, it's... It, he's a skeptic, okay? Yeah, he watches all the ghost shows and everything, but, you know, Gotta see he it. needs to see one. And I think our next ghost hunt's going to be the one. I hope so. Now, on a sad note, Rest in peace, Robin Williams. April 4th Warrior said her favorite movie was Mrs. Doubtfire. I would have to say there's so many to choose from. What, what did I say? Good Will Hunting, um, Jumanji is a good one. Uh, Dead Poets Society. Yeah, there was another one though that we. we oh, there's so many. It's it, it. I couldn't choose a favorite if I had to because there are so, so many that he's done that were just fabulous movies. But I remember him when he first started out on a TV series as Mork, Mork. from Work. Mork. And I'm sorry. Nanu nanu. Nanu nanu. Nanu nanu to everybody out there. And Robin Williams, I hope you can find peace and happiness now that you seem to have lost in your life here on Earth. We love you, and you will be missed. Absolutely. And everybody, let us know what your favorite Robin Williams movie was. That I'd like to to know that. There's there's a lot out there, and, and uh, he was such an amazing man. Okay, ah. pull myself together. Time for earphones out. Neighborhood community shout outs. I start tonight. Jack Adams. Katie Caroline. Lucy Bluebone. Daniel Scott. Christopher Trade Show. Play bad with username. Selena G. Love 487, also known as Brian. Tom Show. Rex 25059. ZZ Epic Dude ZZ. Dana Besaw. Marin Brenda Smith. Daphne Sheehan. Lucian Autumn. Samantha L. Domestic Goddess. Alien K18, also known as Kimmy. Destiny Hall. Sammy Anir. The Abyss 92882. Meet the Presleys. Charlene Higdon. Charlene. Nah. That's what I said. Go on. <laughs> Skylar, Chantel, Shaylee, and Shaden. 
uh, Ground Dome. My good friend Whitney Broderson. Just and two new additions to the list. Justina C. And SG Sprint Car 1. You are all part of our neighborhood community. We would not be here if it was not for each and every one of you. We love you all. Thank you. Thumbs up and we will see you tomorrow.